Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Giumini. I have posted a couple videos on the blog, one from Khan and one from Tenmark. I know sometimes you guys tire on their voices, so I know you're so used to my melodic voice, so I figured I'd make also a little video for you. So now you have three additional resources to use when kind of doing some homework and reviewing for this for a, an assessment coming up here probably in about uh, more than likely uh, uh, two weeks from today or two weeks from yesterday. So first thing, volume of cylinders and prisms. Okay, we talk, we're going to talk about today what prisms are in class. So I'm going to hold off on kind of talking about that, see if you can pick that up on your own today from our discussions. Cylinders, I think you're all used to so, uh, soup, soup cans, soda, soda cans, things of that nature. Uh, a silo and, and is somewhat of a cylinder. So I'll take a look here. Now, our formula for finding volume. So we're finding volume. We're actually figuring out how many cubes will fill up this shape. And that's why we're gonna, when we measure volume, we assign it cubic. It's no longer squares. We're figuring out how many three-dimensional cubes it'll take to fill up this cylinder. Or, for that matter, when you're finding volume of any three-dimensional shape, how many cubes. So the formula is V equals, now here's the difference, it's a capital B, not a lowercase b like when we're finding area of a rectangle or square or triangle, but it's a capital B because you have to find the area of the base first and then times that by the height. So it becomes capital B area of the base times the height. So it's important that you understand that this is the area of the base and not just the base. It's the area of it. So, and I just kind of written this formula over here. Remember, area of the base, since a cylinder, the base of it is a circle, as you can tell. We're going to find the area of that circle or the area of that base of the cylinder. So, starting first, I'm going to go V equals area of the base times height. We go V equals, so we know that area of a circle is. 3.14 or 3 and 14 hundredths. You know pi goes on forever. Now, times. This says radius squared. Okay? This measurement is not the radius. This goes from one end point to the other, traveling through the center point of the circle. So that's my diameter. Remember, the radius is half of the diameter. So half of 10 is 5. So I go 3 and, four ten, or three and 14 hundredths times 10 squared. I'm going to put that in parentheses to denote that we're going to do that first, times the height of the cylinder, which is 15. So because we have parentheses, we're going to do everything inside the parentheses first. So if I take this down one more step, we start to simplify a little bit. 3 and 14 hundredths times 5 squared, that means 5 times 5 is 25. Put that in parentheses, times 15. I'm going to cheat here, use a calculator. So I have in parentheses 3 and 14 hundredths times 25. That gives me 78 and 5 tenths, which if I think about it, that makes sense because 25 times 3 would give me 75 uh, with 1,400, so I could see how it could be a little bit more. So I'm just kind of see if that makes sense, that answer, before I move on to my next step. I now I take the 75, or 78, I'm sorry, and 5 tenths times that by 15. Now I know 78 times 10 would give me 780, so I'm guessing another 5, so let's see here. That's another half of 780, roughly. Um, so I'm going to guess my answer is over 1,000. Let's get, get a little estimate here. Let's take a look. 78 and 5 tenths times, times the height, which is 15. Okay. My answer is 1,177 and 5 tenths. The unit of measure here is centimeters, so it's cubic centimeters. Way to denote that is with little 3 cubic centimeters, the exponent of 3. Okay, so that's how I find the area of a cylinder. If I take a look at the next shape, I have a rectangular prism. Now, same type of formula. Volume equals base times height. Now, this is a capital B, so it is the what again? The capital B stands for the area of the base. I always think about the base as what that shape is sitting on. Uh, so if I take a look at this, I see the three dimensions, so volume equals area of the base times the height. Volume equals, I'll put this in parentheses, so I'll multiply that first, nine times. Now, there's my, here's my base. 
it is this rectangle right here. I'm sorry about the lines, but there's my base. It is a 9 by 5. And I multiply that by the height, which is 5. Okay, volume equals 9 times 5 is 45. 45 times 5. Hmm. 45, 10, 45 times 10 would give me 450. So half of that is, what, 225? Let me just double check here. So I'm going to give a little estimate make sure my answer makes sense. So 45, this one I can do long, longhand. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry my 2. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 2 is 22. My volume is 225. Oops. F cubic feet. Let me make that a little better there. Now, if you don't like using the exponent of 3 for cube, you can also do this. Cubic feet. Or you could do 225 cubic feet. Either one works. Okay. Now I go to the next one. Another type of prism. We have a triangular prism. Now, the reason why these are called a triangular prism, we'll find out, and I'll kind of spoil the fun here. We have two bases. And, or we have two shapes at the opposite end. They are congruent to each other. They are the same shape, so that's why we call them a prism. So prisms will have, prisms will have, the reason we call it a prism, it's a three-dimensional shape named for the shape of its bases. And the two bases are going to be congruent. Okay, so if I take a look at this, we have volume equals area of the base times the height. Okay, now this base is a triangle. So I'm going to use this formula right here. Base times height divided by 2. You can also do 1 half times base times height. But remember, when you're multiplying something by a half, all you're really doing is dividing it by 2. So if I kind of plug in some numbers here, volume equals the area of the base. Well, area of the base is 10 times 15 divided by 2 times the height of this. Okay. So I have my here's my triangle. The base is 10. The height is 15. I know 10 times 15 is 150. Okay, now I'm going 150 divided by 2 times the height, which is 20. Volume equals. All right. 150 divided by 2. What is 150 divided by 2? 100 is, half 100 is 50. Hmm. If I add another 25 to both, because I'm getting another, oh, 75. So I go 75 times 20. Okay, 75 times 10 would give me 750. Seven, uh, t uh, 20 is just 10 doubled, so I double 750. I think that gives me 1,500, but I will double check. 75 times 20. I like to kind of leave that zero hanging off there because if I know I multiply that all the way through, it's going to be zeros anyway, so I'll just put the zero here. 7 times 2 is 10. 7 times, oh, I'm sorry, 5 times 2 is 10. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 1 gives me 15. So my volume is 1,500 cubic centimeters or 1,500 cubic centimeters. Hope this helps you out. Have a great night.